As I begin this hortatory address to you, you men of Greece, I pray God that I may know what I ought to say to you and that you, shaking off your habitual love of disputing and being delivered from the error of your fathers, may now choose what is profitable, not fancying that you commit any offense against your forefathers, though the things which you formerly considered by no means salutary should now seem useful to you. For accurate investigation of matters, putting truth to the question with a more searching scrutiny often reveals that things which have passed for excellent are of quite another sort. Since then, we propose to discourse of the true religion, than which I think there is nothing which is counted more valuable by those who desire to pass through life without danger on account of the judgment which is to be after the termination of this life and which is announced not only by our forefathers according to God, to wit the prophets and lawgivers, but also by those among yourselves who have been esteemed wise, not poets alone, but also philosophers, who professed among you that they had attained the true and divine knowledge. I think it well first of all to examine the teachers of religion, both our own and yours, who they were, and how great and in what times they lived, in order that those who have formerly received from their fathers the false religion may now, when they perceive this, be extricated from that inveterate error, and that we may clearly and manifestly show that we ourselves follow the religion of our forefathers according to God.